Yo guys, it's your boy Xchampsers here for another video. Today's video, lads, highly requested this one. We had a couple people wanting for it. So, we've gone for, boys, the best 100k team that money can buy right now as we're speaking. Prices are a little bit high. I'm, you know, I can't really do much about that. That's the icon player pick inflation for you, lads. Um, Yeah, so this is a relatively okay-ish team. Not great. It's probably going to be worth 80, 80k maybe in a couple of weeks. But while this icon player picks out, boys, it is, it is, it's crazy prices. We're looking at like 100k for like Allison and, sh you know. So it's not it's not good. But I think I've done a decent job. Um, you know, I do apologise if uh, it's not to your taste. Um, it's got some sweaty players in, so be prepared, lads. Um, but before we get into this... If you uh, like the video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Turn the notification bell on as well. We upload daily FIFA content, boys. We do squad builders like this. We do highlights. We do rage. We do lots and lots of stuff. We're a man of many talents over here on this channel, you know. Also, I will be live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash xjamsterzx. Same as my YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, which is also xjamsterzx. Um, and you'll... Turn the notification on as well, because then I will, I always tweet out when I'm going live, you know. So come come drop us a follow, come say hi, come chill, chat, you know. We want to know everything about you lot. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. And in goal, there's only one... Right, if you're doing a best 100k team, if you're doing a best 10 million coin team, there's only one man you can go for. And that's normal Pope, right? This man is incredible. You know about Pope. I'm, I'm, I am fully part of the Pope gang. But if you're not, don't you know? Don't worry. You don't have to use Pope. Um, you can use any Prem keeper that you, that you want. But in my opinion, if I was to choose a goalkeeper, I would choose Pope because he's six foot seven. He is massive. He's got good stats as well. Comes across as saves with feet. Basically, all you need for a keeper. He's fantastic. Makes some incredible saves. Reminds me a little bit of De Gea on couple fifas ago because the saves with feet is crazy 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 op this year as well boys so pope is my pick for goalkeeping spot at right back um we've not gone for an englishman we have gone for a uh nelson Smedo, cheeky little nelson speak about this lad so much he's 5k a little bit expensive for a right back um that's 83 rated 83 should be like 3k but 5k 5 foot 10 is not bad. Medium high is, is quite good. 4 star skill moves is also very good. 3 star weak foot's not fantastic. But again, he's a right back. He's always going to be on his right foot, basically. Um, 92 pace. It's basically why you use him. Um, he's not got good shooting or passing. Dribbling is pretty good at, you know, with the 87 agility, 81 balance. You'll be able to, you know, left stick weave and that. He's got decent... He's got really good defending stats, to be fair. 81 stand tackle, 81 interceptions, 80 slide tackles, quite good. And 92 stamina, so he's up and down with the almost 80 jumping. He's got 79 jumping. So he'll win headers, and he's got good aggression of 81. Strength is good enough for a fullback, in my opinion. Fullbacks don't need, you know, so much. You know, They don't need to be very strong because wingers are always... Well, stereotypically, wingers are, are quite weak compared to uh, fullbacks. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. But Nelson Semedo is my pick for the right back spot. And at right centre back, we've gone for a uh, Liverpool. Liverpool man. You know who it is already, boys. Here he is. Big old Joey Gomez. You can't make a team, you know, if you're going to make a team under 200k, Gomez must is is a he's is a, is a must basically at this point lads uh this guy's like 7k six foot two um i actually played a load the, you can see the guys before me they've used him they've used this card for 630 games mental mental stuff um but he's six foot two 82 pace whack a shadow on that's 92 pace crazy crazy stuff 78 short pass is decent he's got decent dribbling as well um, you can bring the ball out of defence with him. I, I've done it many a times. Got very, very good defending stats. 85 stand tackle, 82 slide tackle, uh, 84 interceptions as well. The only slight little problem I've I've always had with Joe Gomez when I've used him is his jumping. It's 76, which is not, you know, it's not fantastic. Um, I'd like that to be a little bit high because sometimes he does lose the headers. 
But he's got the 81 aggression, 83 strength to basically bully. Bully everyone, lads, to be honest. He, he's a bully on the ball, you know. Stop bullying me. If you're a Forest fan, you'll know that. But stop bullying me. He, does, he bullies people. He's incredible, boys. Everyone knows about Joe Gomez. And to partner him, we've gone for a, another Liverpool centre-back. We've gone for Kabak. Now, he's got a uh, UCL a Man of the Match, boys. And I'm not going to lie. It's looking a little bit tasty. Right? It's looking a little bit tasty. Six foot one. Decent. 76 pace. Decent. Put, put a shadow on him. 82 pass it, uh, short pass is phenomenal. Um, dribbling stats are incredible for a centre-back. Look at that. You'll be able to bring the ball out of, with ease with this guy, bro. Then you got 85 stand tackle. Brilliant. Only 76 interceptions is not in, it's not fantastic, but you can up that with a shadow or whatever. And then you look at the physicals. Only 83 physical on the card, yeah? He's got 89 jumping and 89 strength. He win. He will win everything. Corners. Attacking corners, bro. And defensive corners. He probably will win everything. Um, 89 strength as well. We'll out-muscle even the likes of Bolongoli, you know. 83 aggression as well is, is very good. Very cheap as well. Only 18k. Um, he's very good. He's got the power header trait as well. This guy is a danger on corners. I'll tell you that right now then. Um, but yeah, I think I think he's a decent little pickup, boys. So at left back, uh, this is where we actually move out of the Premier League. We go for a French left back, and um, fortunately, all of these are a little bit too too expensive, boys. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Um, this is only weak point of the team. I'm not gonna lie. Hassan Kamara, it was good at the start of the game, but. He's five foot six, uh, 88 pace, decent. You know, he's he's good at dribbling. He can left stick dribble, but he can't, you know, he can't he can't really do much more. He's five foot six with 64 jumping. He's not win headers. Could can out strength the wingers though and keep up with them pace wise. I'd just whack a sentinel. I think it is for defending and physicals, and you should be he should be okay, right? He's not gonna, you know, he's not the standout in the team. He's like a K. If that, probably like six, seven hundred coins, maybe. So you aren't looking at big bucks for this man, but you don't. You, we've put it further, further ahead, you know. Um, so at the uh, right um, centre mid spot, I don't know what I was. I was flapping there, boys. We've gone for a left mid. We've gone for Alan Saint Maximan. This guy is cracked. I had to pick him up, and I've not even played a game with him. I use him in friendlies, by the way, so that's why. Um, one of my favourite players on the game, the way that this man can dribble, the way this man feels, moves, crazy. I... Oh, if he gets a what if, oh my god, I will actually cream. He will be so good. Um, anyway, you all know Alan, 5 foot 8, 5 star, 4 star, fantastic, 93 pace. The, it's, the dribbling and pace on this man is different. Put a dead eye on him, and he is... Oh, no, not a dead eye, sorry. A finisher. A finisher is what you want on this guy, and he will turn into one of the best players you will ever use on this game. So, at the middle centre mid spot, you probably already guessed it. It's uh, a French teammate. Well, not a teammate, because he's never played for France. But we've gone for Moussa Soko. Six foot two, high, high, absolute machine. You can see I've played 340 games. I was using this card up until like two weeks ago. That's how good he is. Whack a shadow on him, and this man will literally run, be a big ball of meat, and win the ball. The pace, the strength, the aggression, the stamina is all you need on this card with the 81 stand tackle. 80, it'll be like 89, I think, with the, uh, with the uh, old chemistry style applied. Brilliant guy, brilliant card, and... Very, very cheap as well. Um, so this is who I actually built the team around, you know. I built the team around this lad here. Alexis Claude Maurice. Obviously, if you're an Arsenal fan, you'll know exactly who he is because you were linked with him heavily a couple years ago. But four star, three star, decent, you know. It's the three star weak foot could be better, you know. High medium, five foot nine. 94 pace. F shooting, shooting and passing here, boys. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't matter. You look at the pace and you look at the dribbling. And that's all you need to know. He's going to be cracked. Whack a finisher on him and you know he will absolutely tear arse it through people. And then you see he's got 89 stamina and 71 strength. So, 
baller, boys. He's a baller. He can play through the middle as like a centre mid, or you could play him on the wing if you really, really wanted to. So, boys, we are, unfortunately, this is where we, you know, we don't cut corners here, but we'll cut corners a little bit later. When I say cut corners, I mean cut costs. I'm stupid, boys. We've gone for uh, Golovin at right mid. Um, we're going to play him centre mid in game, boys. Don't, don't you worry, lads. Um, that's why we've got St. Max in the team, actually. But Golovin, 5 foot 11, high medium, decent, 4 star, 4 star, very, very good. He's just a very, very well rounded centre mid. He would probably partner Sissoko perfectly, I'd say. 84 pace is very good for a centre mid. He's got decent shooting stats, 85 shot power, 81 long shots is decent. 75 finishing, eh, meh. But he's 4 star, 4 star, and he's got decent shot power, so it'll feel a little bit better than that. Uh, 83 sh uh, short pass, 84 curve. You could probably hit a finesse shot. He's not got the finesse shot trait, though. A lot of 84s in the passing, isn't there? And a lot of 83s. Um, yeah, he's a good card. 90 agility, 82 balance. Very good dribbling stats, really. In the 92 stamp. 75 stand tackles, probably good enough for a centre mid. I'm not going to lie, boys. But let's see what we've gone for. We've gone for Alexander Gulavin. At uh, the right midfield position. Up top, you've probably guessed it already, to be honest, lads. Uh, French striker. It's uh, the one and only Ratty Ratty Ben Yedda. Um Fantastic again on this game, boys. Five star, four star, 84 pace. Feels like it's 90. He is incredibly quick. Feels incredibly quick. The dribbling stats, 80. 89 balance, 91 agility with like incredible dribbling stats. And you look at the 88 finishing, 90 attack positioning. Wacker Hunter on him, boys. And he is still, still incredible. And if you could afford a, you know, a big boy version of this man, then you are in luck. We get a what if Ben Yedda. Oh, that'll be incredible. What if Team 2 is not actually out yet, by the way, boys. And to finish the team off, we've gone for a left mid by the name of uh, Bamba. We've only gone for the basic bitch. If you can get the inform, then perfect. Four star, four star, high, high, 88 pace. Bit of a filler again, like um, Kamara is. But he's got decent shooting, decent dribbling. He's just an okay card for the price. If you get an, I highly recommend you get an inform of this. But anyway, boys, that is the team. If you enjoyed it, obviously like and all that good stuff. And I will see you tonight if you're on Twitch. But I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Peace.